I gained an appreciation for, for animals and how they react to different situations. And, and as an evolutionary ecologist, I get to kind of extend that to see how, how interactions between organisms and their environment and organisms and even other organisms, organisms and man, so all of these different interactions, how they, uh, how they shape the evolution of species and how they shape biodiversity. What we're doing with these is, so these are uh, obviously common everywhere around here. They're an invasive species, but we don't really know that they're causing a lot of trouble. But uh, they're probably compete competing with a few things that are, are you know, small insectivores, but they live on the, on the sides of buildings, as you've seen. Well, these uh, have some neat, they have toe pads. So if you look at the bottom of their feet, See, they have these little toe pads, and they also have, have nails, right? So uh, we notice that they they do well here, uh, and here they have uh, they have all brick basically, and pretty much the same brick, which is kind of cool about Midwestern, is we have this neat little uh, little uh, island of brick. But if you go south of town, there's kind of an island of metal buildings. It's been shown with this other group called anoles that uh, that evolution can happen really quickly and you can see changes in especially things that are really important for survival. So you see like toe pads and, and claws and you can imagine toe pads are, big toe pads are going to be less effective in, uh, on brick where the claws would be more effective but on the metal you'd see just the opposite. And what a hypothesis is is that the population that's on the metal buildings we expect them to have larger toe pads, smaller, uh, smaller claws and we expect them to be a little smaller as a population. Uh, we, uh, we've collected these lizards. We've actually uh, put them on a flatbed scanner and, and, and uh, you just put a little bit of uh, pressure on top, you're not hurting the lizards. But then you get a nice picture of them stuck onto that scanner, right? And when they do that, you have these toe pads. And you can, can use, a, uh, use a program called Image J to go through and measure the, uh, the area of the toe pad. And at the same time, you can measure the length of the uh, of the claw. And we're still in the middle of of, uh, of uh, processing that data. We do know, though, that the population that's at the that's in the uh, that lives on the metal, they are smaller. So one of our hypotheses we know is holding true. We're currently in the middle of processing the rest of the data, and that research will be presented by an undergraduate at uh, the Society of Integrative and Comparative Biologists in, in San Francisco in January. So we have, uh, we have six students and myself that will be, uh, be presenting research from this lab at a, an international forum of, of, of uh, academic biologists.